G'day, in this video we'll be looking at the nitrogen cycle. It is really important to understand the nitrogen cycle as nitrogen is one of our macronutrients and is really important for our plant's growth and development. So the easiest way um, to understand the nitrogen cycle is just to, uh, just to follow nitrogen uh, around the system. So the easiest place to start is nitrogen gas in our atmosphere, it makes up about 80% of our atmosphere um, and it's two nitrogens uh, bonded together to form this molecule. So it enters our soil and inside our soil we have a lot of bacteria. Some of these bacteria are called rhizomium bacteria and these can be found in uh, nodules within our legumes. So legumes are a group of plants and they have a symbiotic relationship with this rhizomium bacteria. Now this relationship allows the legume to receive nitrogen and also gives the bacteria a place to live. So what happens is the nitrogen gas is converted by the rhizomium bacteria into um, ammonia or ammonium. This is uh, termed ammonification as we convert our nitrogen gas into ammonium. So um, it can either exist in its um, ionic form, so it picks up a hydrogen uh, and a, a plus charge, or it can exist in a um, non-charge state. So when nitrogen moves from its gaseous state into ammonia, this is um, called nitrogen fixation or nitrogen fixing, uh, and it's fixing the, uh, the gas into a solid, and our rhizomium bacteria uh, does this. Now, the whole process is almost driven by bacteria, so it's really important uh, to understand that bacteria really drives the function and the processes within our system. And so what happens next is that our um, ammonia undergoes nitrification. So nitrification occurs uh, when nitrifying bacteria convert our ammonia into nitrite. Uh, this is where they remove um, a hydrogen add-on um, so oxygen atoms from here it then moves into nitrate now nitrate uh, is readily available for our plants uptake via assimilation uh, and from here the plants can then uh, draw it up through their roots and then use it um, take out the nitrogen and use it for their growth and development so we've moved our nitrogen from the atmosphere into ammonia then nitrite then nitrate and then into our plants. So now the nitrogen is stored in our plants. So um, two things can happen now. So the plant can either be eaten um, by an animal, say uh, a cow comes along, eats the plant, uh, and then gets digested. As we know in ruminating animals, this uh, nitrogen is then um, taken up by the microbes in the ruminant uh, animal, and then it can be uh, digested by the animal into um, protein. So then the animal can die or the plant can die and then we undergo decomposition. So decomposition is undertaken by bacteria and fungi and it breaks it down uh, back into its basic uh, compounds. Another way is that animals can discrete the nitrogen out uh, and then that will uh, undergo decomposition as well, just like as if uh, the animal died. So this in itself is, is its own little cycle. Nitrogen goes from the air into ammonia, nitrite, nitrate into our plant, uh, and then from there into our animals, or it can go back into um, the ground where it will decompose back into ammonia. So what happens if there's too much nitrogen in the soil already? Well, denitrifying bacteria can undergo a process of denitrification where the nit nitrogen in our nitrate is separated and it goes back to the atmosphere. So this can happen when there's not enough oxygen in the ground and the bacteria will split the oxygen from the um, nitrogen so that it can pick up um, some oxygen. So in a way, nitrification um, is a loss to the system or reduces the nitrogen uh, from the system. Even though it goes back into the atmosphere, uh, it is uh, not an ideal um, process that, um, that can be undertaken mainly because we want the as much nitrogen that we can get in our soil so that our plants can benefit. So denitrification can occur when soils become waterlogged and so it pushes all the area uh, so there's not enough oxygen. 
and this is not good for a number of reasons. Uh, first of all, we're losing nitrogen and uh, we can also get root rot in our plants, uh, which is not ideal. Another way that we can uh, lose nitrogen from our system is through leaching and erosion. Now, this can occur um, a number of different ways, but pretty much the loss of soil from the system um, and excess watering will cause leaching. So those are uh, three ways that you can lose um, nitrogen. That is denitrification, leaching, and erosion. But there's a couple other ways we can gain nitrogen. So that can be either through fertilization. So this can be either uh, inorganic, so um, industrially made fertilizers, or it can be organic, such as green manure uh, or animal manure. And so this can then go into our system. It would go, uh, a lot of them would go under decomposition. So our organic would go under decomposition. So if you had lots of like blood and bone um, or a green um, manure crop, that can be so uh, plowed back into uh, the soil and then the microbes in it can break that down. Or if it's a inorganic um, fertilizer, normally it's uh, a lot of the compounds are a combination of our um, nitrogen compounds, so ammonium or our nitrates. And so they um, pretty much either enter in the nitrogen fixation process or our nitrification and then can be assimilated by our plants. Now the third way nitrogen can enter into our system is through the weathering of rocks. Now this might take a really really long time so we shouldn't rely on this as a source. However it is important to understand that some rocks when weathered uh, can release nitrogen. And so the final way that nitrogen can enter into the system is actually through lightning. So when lightning strikes it's so hot that uh, the nitrogen and oxygen in the air actually get ripped apart and then uh, form back together as nitric acid. When the acid hits uh, the soil, it gets neutralized um, into nitrates. Then this nitrate can be assimilated by our plants um, and can be drawn up and used for growth and development. So nitrogens are essential for building proteins. But another thing that can occur is that nitrogen can be immobilized as it's picked up by our microbes. And so microbes can pick up our nitrates um, and hold them in their proteins. This makes them kind of locked away from our plants. But as our microbes break down, the nitrogen is then available for our plants. This can also be assisted by nematodes, uh, which will then uh, cons consume our microbes and then make the uh, nitrogen available for our plants. So there we have it. That is the nitrogen cycle. Um, the main things to take away is that nitrogen enters, we've got our legumes, we've got our rhizomium bacteria, they're really important for the fixation of nitrogen. It moves around our cycle, um, a lot of our bacteria um, convert the ammonia into our nitrites and nitrates via nitrification, and then from there it can be taken up by our plants, uh, and this is really what uh, we want the nitrogen um, for in the first place. We want it available for our plants so that they can grow. A good thing to remember is that we don't want to lose this nitrate, so we want to minimize leaching, uh, soil erosion, and denitrification by keeping our soil aerated, and that uh, if we want to introduce nitrogen into our system, the best way to do it is probably by fertilizers. Uh, that can be either uh, inorganic or organic. So finally, our land management strategies that we use on our farms can really play a role in how we use or, um, or the nitrogen cycle um, plays a role in providing nitrogen for our plants. So if we don't set up a really nice habitat for our um, bacteria, they're not going to be there to convert our uh, nitrogen gas into our nitrates. And so that way we're not going to have a natural way of getting these um, nitrates into our plants. And so we're going to have to apply more um, fertilizers that are readily available. So this is not often in our uh, organics, it's normally in our inorganic fertilizers, which can have uh, some bad effects, um, such as acidification, which can make the soil pH um, un undesirable. So therefore, we want to provide a nice habitat for our uh, microbes, such as our uh, fungi, which helps in the decomposition, as well as our bacteria, which helps in decomposition, nitrification, and ammonification. Uh, and we can do this by increasing our soil organic carbon, and we can also inoculate our legumes to have these um, nitrifying bacteria. 
Thank you very much for watching. Uh, that is the nitrogen cycle. My name is Teal Simmons, uh, and this is Agriculture Explained.